guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Sunday, March 6th, and I need to do my weekly meal prep. I'm trying to psych myself up. I've got a ton of things I need to get done, and I don't know if anyone else gets like a little, I don't wanna call it anxious, but I know tomorrow's Monday, and I still have a ton of things that I have not gotten done that needs to be done before Monday. Like for instance, this weekend, I wanted to go hiking again and I wanted to go like be out in nature and be by a beautiful body of water. But I had to question myself, Felicia, on Monday morning, which thing will make you feel best? Getting all your stuff done and having your ducks in a row on Monday or going out and just enjoying yourself, not getting everything you need to be done, that you need done by Monday and feeling like, behind all week and I decided to be a responsible adult and do the things that need to be done so needless to say here we are with this week's meal prep I'm actually doing some spaghetti squash today salmon in the air fryer and broccoli and asparagus I don't even know if this is going to make me like take me through the week honestly I do know it's not <laughs> it's not but I'm hoping that this will at least get me through Wednesday so that I can wrap my head around the rest of it later because I, I just can't. Sometimes I just can't. So let's see if I can move the camera down. I can't find the ideal spot for the camera for this video, but the first thing I need to do is to cut this spaghetti squash in half. You wanna slice it long ways for those of you that have never cooked it before. And remember, like I'm a physical therapist, and a lifestyle coach. I'm not a chef. I don't even know if this is the right knife, so I grabbed two. Actually, I grabbed three because I'm more comfortable with this one. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and cut this baby in half. And it's not very easy. Like you've definitely, you have to apply some force. There we go. Yes! Cut them. Yes. Oh, what the heck? <sighs> okay, you guys. So if you saw my last grocery haul, you know that this thing cost me like $8.99. What is up with that? I mean, it could be my fault. Like I didn't pick the right one, but I didn't think that it would do this in a week. <sighs> Part of me is like, you should just take it back to the store and be like, listen. But then the other part of me is you don't really have time. What would you do? What would you do? Comment down in the comment section below. Would you take it back? Or would you just go ahead and do your meal prep and like eat the parts that could be eaten? <sighs> Here's another thing you guys are gonna learn about me. Whenever I have a lot on my mind, little decisions like this are very tough for me. Like someone could come in and they would be like, hey, there's a property, blah, 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 I'll run all the numbers, da, da, da. and I'll be like, oh yeah, duh, I'll take A. They're like, do you want A or B? I'm like, yeah, A is a better deal, blah, blah, blah. But when I'm a little overwhelmed, decisions like this, like take it back or cook it, take me way too long to decide. So, give me a second. All right. Let's cook it. So the next thing that we need to do is to take out the inside. <laughs> I sound so defeated. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to scoop out the seeds. And I guess you can kind of use the seeds and bake them like pumpkin seeds, but I'm not interested in doing that today. So yeah, we're gonna scoop out the inside. I wanted to use the container as a bowl for my lunch, but I wasn't expecting it to be rotten. So this one I was able to scoop out the majority of the area that was kind of rotten, but this one I'm actually gonna have to cut it. All of that is bad. It's like $3 worth. All right, so this is what we're left with. <laughs> Wait, thumbnail. 
So next I'm going to rinse these and then if you wanted to you could put like a little bit of olive oil but I'm going to skip that step. Um, I'll just use a little bit of the moisture that's left because I don't want the extra calorie. And then I will season them with salt, pepper, garlic, and oregano. So let me rinse them first. I'm also going to head over to the oven and turn the oven on 400 degrees. Actually no 380, 380. Okay, so we have the oven preheating at 380. And, okay, so why is he calling me? So add a little salt. Garlic. And oregano. Adding some oregano. All right, so this is what it looks like. This is the mess I created. You guys know you get the real over here. So I'm gonna clean all of this up and put these face down on the pan with a little bit of water and I'll be back. So this is what it looks like and I'm going to add a bit of water. And again, I have it preheated at 380. And since we have this giant space, I'm going to toss some of the broccoli on this pan and I'll put some of it on this pan with the asparagus. This one I will allow to cook for 40 minutes. This one I'll have cook for 30 to 40 minutes. This time I did not cut the tips off of the asparagus because I realized that I just stopped eating them at a certain point anyways. So in order to save time, I'm not gonna take the time to cut them. And with the broccoli and asparagus, I didn't put any seasonings on those because I want to be able to change the flavor of my veggies this week. Like for instance, I may want to eat them like just plain or I may want to eat them with spaghetti sauce or I may want to eat them like in a stir fry. So this week I'm just prepping them but no additional seasoning. All right, so before I prepare the salmon, um, I just got a comment on my channel. You guys have no idea like how much I love you and appreciate you. Um, so this comment came from Kendall Kessler. This is a comment on my last video that I uploaded. And she said, good for you. It is so important to keep our weight down. Excess weight causes so many health problems. Well done, love the music too. I am an artist and I share my painting, demos, and studio visits here. So much variety on YouTube. Have a great day. So Kendall, first of all, I wanna say if you guys are interested in things like that, definitely go check out our channel. But also, Ken, I just wanted to say thank you so much for leaving that comment and thank you for subscribing. You guys make me so happy. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. And back to your point, yes, it really is important to keep our weight down because yeah, extra weight does lead to so many diseases, so many problems, you know, such as diabetes. And I mean, working as a physical therapist, I see a lot of conditions, you know, COPD, CHF, that if weight obesity was not a problem like if that was not also another comorbidity that they were dealing with how their condition could improve or they could at least maintain a lot better than what they are mm -hmm. and that perhaps they wouldn't have so many exacerbations, meaning like new onsets of the same chronic condition happening so kendall i appreciate your comment i am very committed to getting back into a healthy weight i've been there before know what it feels like and for me, it's not just, it's not like, for me, it's not a vanity thing. I mean, yeah, like, come on, like, let's be honest. You know, who doesn't want to look good, right? I mean, like, I know I already look good. But also, in my family, I do want to be an example of someone that lost the weight through diet and exercise. I mean, I'm at a point, like, where I have considered, you know, possibly getting the gastric sleeve. And don't hold me to this, because I'll come back a year later and be like, guess what? So don't hold me to this. So, But part of the reason why I really wanna be able to do it through diet and exercise is to show individuals in my family, in my community, that it really can be done. So Kendall, again, I appreciate your comment. I hope I didn't go on too long. Now we need to, you guys know I use scissors to cut my salmon into portions and then I'm going to season it and toss it in the air fryer. <laughs> so this, guess how much this costs? This was $7.75. And in case anyone's wondering like why I always share how much everything costs, because again, I want to help women create and build their dream lives and a body that they love on a budget that they can afford. And when it comes to losing weight, 
one of the main things that comes up is it's more expensive to eat healthy so if someone were to come across this video or come across my channel i would like for them to see you know how much different things cost and how i'm making it work so yeah 7.75 and let's see how many portions i'll get okay so we've got four portions one two three four from the and again i simply use garlic salt pepper I like to keep things simple. What I found is that whenever I keep things simple, then it helps me to stick to my goals a lot easier. Um, also, this is like a jumbled video because I also wanted to share with you guys an update with my cash envelope. So I've never really mixed the whole cooking and then budgeting style videos together, but we're doing it in this video. So once I get the salmon in the air fryer and then I need to brown this ground turkey, yeah, after that, we're going to talk about my updated cash envelope system. Okay, so moment of honesty here. So usually when I make my spaghetti, spaghetti, I take the time to chop like onion and peppers and I do all of that stuff. So, I feel tempted to take the time to do that. I'm opening my refrigerator as I'm speaking. Nah, <laughs> not today. I just, I, I don't have the time today. But if you're making this, feel free to chop some veggies and toss your veggies in there as well. But I'm not doing that today. <laughs> oh my gosh. guys it's been a long week I'm not even joking like how did this happen <laughs> oh my goodness okay so at this point in the video either you're laughing with me and if you are you're my people <laughs> or you're like this girl is ridiculous and you clicked out of the video I'm okay with that that's fine you guys gotta give me a little bit of slack like you know I'm still a new youtuber here I don't have this whole perfection <laughs> out yet oh, it's been a long week man um i'll tell you some good news i have gotten in over 10,000 steps so there we go <laughs> so here we are so far i just need to allow it to brown a little bit more and then i'll put some sauce on it here is the spaghetti sauce that I'll be using. You guys saw this in the grocery haul. It says no sugar added, but let's just look at the ingredients here. So for half a cup, we have five grams of sugar. So I will use one cup. One serving is 11 grams of carbs. So I'll be using one cup, which will be like two servings of this. So each day I'll have five grams of sugar all right so i'm not using a ring light or anything and i'm not in the best place in the house for lighting but let's just let's go with it um this morning i posted in my stories that there were some exciting changes happening within the budget and i shared that i am finally able to add a budget line for clothing and that makes me so excited you guys i posted in another video which i'll link here that I wanted to be able to buy some new medical scrubs for my birthday. I think we're gonna make that happen. I do wanna say that my cash envelope system has changed a lot like over the year. You know, as we've increased income and decreased expenses, things have shifted and changed, but in some ways I never made the change. So for instance, let's see, this is hard to do, like to show you guys both me and what's going on. So for instance, here in my wallet, this is what I used to go by before. And what I would do was every two weeks, we would have $75 for miscellaneous, $250 for food, $150 for housekeeping, $75 for self-care, $10 for each of our boys, $60 for our daughter. And then we will also save for date night. That envelope, now we're at a point to where that can actually come out. So one thing that I've noticed for, it's been a while not now, maybe even a year, was that we were saving for a date night like collectively. 
but what was happening and I don't know I didn't even talk to him about this but I never would pay for the date so like money would just stay in the envelope and he would just pay off his card I don't know like I don't know how that works I'm not even questioning it but this is no longer needed in my wallet so I'm taking this envelope out um another envelope which felt really good to be able to take out and it's the one that I shared on on my Instagram and Facebook stories today was the car. So I kept this envelope for things like oil changes, tires. You guys know I'm a home health physical therapist and I drive like 600 miles every two weeks. So I'm constantly needing to replace tires or getting oil changes and all of that. But something significant happened um, a few weeks back, actually like last month. My daughter needed new tires on her car. And you know, like with college kids, they're only here for short periods of time. And I was able to like take her to go get the tires and then I like manipulated the budget in a way to where I was like holy cow like just cash flow $500 worth of car expenses like do I really still need that as a line item so needless to say this envelope is no longer needed to be carried in my wallet now we do still save for emergencies but yeah this doesn't need to be in the wallet also food so the food envelope what I was doing before was paying for our food and cash but you guys I'm sure some of you it may have changed too when the pandemic hit really wasn't using a lot of cash actually I don't think a lot of people were because you know at first like we didn't really know like with the exchange of germs and all of that stuff so that changed a lot for me and currently we're using um, our card to collect points because now you know we travel hack and do all of that so now this envelope is no longer needed in my wallet then i have the wall the envelope for housekeeping i still need this but i no longer need to carry it in my wallet so yeah this is coming out the only envelope that i have remaining in my wallet is self-care and i'm keeping this one in cash because i like to pay my service providers in cash so that they can avoid they can avoid the transaction fees because usually it's like small businesses so i prefer to pay them in cash and again self-care is like hey, massages those type of things so I still have that one and the exciting thing like I mentioned is folding so now I need to figure out which one of these envelopes am I going to change to clothing I love the color pink but the car envelope like I don't have to white out as much like it, would this bother anyone else <laughs> to have to actually white it out for now we're going with this I'm just doing a sticky and I'm gonna put it on top of it there we go and this past pay period, I took $525 to cover cash expenses. So the first thing will be, so there's $100 for me to go towards new scrubs. That's going in this envelope. And the goal will be, and the goal will be to save $100 every two weeks. And I think that that will get me to so that's like five hundred dollars which sounds like a lot but buying scrubs is not really a lot so we also have 85 dollars a week for housekeeping so that's 50 70 80 85 and then 50 70 80 and 85 now she also has a birthday in the month of March and silly me, I don't remember what day in March. So this week I'm just gonna leave her a card with $50 and like happy birthday in it. We need an additional 50 bucks for that. Actually, I think that what I'll do is I'll just give her a 50 instead of like that, okay? So we've got money for housekeeping here and then I need to do her card and then we have a hundred dollars for our long guy there and I gotta look at my budget real quickly okay so I'll show it to you guys so as you can see there's 170 for housekeeping 50 for her birthday gift self-care 100 scrubs 100 lawn care 100 and 
miscellaneous. I'm not doing anything. All right, and then we still have, we should have 100 bucks for self-care. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And I still have cash in here. Um, I have a hair appointment coming up. I currently have 200, now 300 dollars. Yeah, so I have a hair appointment coming up and I also have a massage coming up. I should be good. All right, so we're getting rid of these. And the reason I didn't do miscellaneous is because I still have 50, there's 20, there's 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I still have $79, so I didn't take out the 75 for miscellaneous. Yeah, so I did hear the salmon stop, so let's go over there and check that out. Ta-da! Alrighty, so I've got that going, and then let's just take a peep. Ooh, chow. So I think the broccoli's ready to come out. All right, here we go. Looks good. Okay, so for the spaghetti squash, I simply removed it from the oven and I brought it over here from the stove so that it can cool off a bit. I don't know if you guys can see the steam, but it's really hot. So I'm gonna give it some time to cool off. And here's the top. I'll be using two servings of this for my spaghetti squash. Let's see if these things have cooled down. Oh, it's still hot. I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you've never made spaghetti squash before, do you see how it looks like spaghetti? It's really like low carb and it's just a vegetable. It's not the pasta. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And what I'm going to do, it's almost three o'clock and I haven't had lunch yet. So I'm actually gonna eat a little bit of this before I finish cleaning it up. But let me show you guys. So there's the salmon and then here's the broccoli and asparagus is like under there. But you still can't see it. It's there, I promise. You know, so I've got some veggies for a couple days and I have a protein source for a few days too. But I'm going to fix my food. So here you can see, like, this is what I wanted to use, was like the container. So I'll eat that, like, as I'm eating my food. But I'm also going to add a little bit more. And that dark stuff is actually the oregano and the pepper. See that? So it's not like rotten, it's just oregano and pepper. And then let's add, I'm gonna add some ground turkey. So you can see here, I've added some cheese and hot sauce. And then I have a side of veggies and I need to eat lunch. I'm so hungry. So I'm actually going to go ahead and eat. <laughs> I'm so hungry. And then I'll tell you guys like if it's actually legit or not. I've had spaghetti squash before, but I haven't had it since I've been like watching my sugar because before I would have way more spaghetti sauce than this and probably more, um, more turkey too. But this is good for now. I'm say my blessings. Hold on. All right. And you can still like swirl it too, like pasta. <laughs> you could trick yourself. Mm. 
That's good. It's really good. I just thought about it. I probably should have taken a picture. That's the thing about, that's one of the things about being a newer YouTuber is like sometimes I forget to take pictures for thumbnails. So some of the things I've been trying to do this weekend is my coach has been on my behind about my website. Like I need to write more blog posts and I need to upload more content for like SEO stuff. I don't fully understand all of it, but I trust her. She knows what she's talking about. That's not my area of specialty. So I've been doing a lot of writing, not a lot, not as much as I need to, but it feels like a lot. And then there's just a lot of, I'm sure actually at first I was gonna like skip over it, but I know that you guys probably understand when there's a, there's a lot of organizational stuff that has to be done and you can't see it. Like it's nothing you can show. It's just like, it needs to be done. And if it's not done, then other systems don't run right. So it's been a lot of that kind of stuff. And it takes a lot of mental capacity. And when you work full time or work at all, or even if you're a mom that's taking care of kids, but like when you have your downtime, but that downtime is plugged with other things that you need to do in order to keep the house running and keep work running and keep a business running. Sometimes not like it's, I'm not complaining about it. I don't want you guys to get that impression. I'm definitely not complaining, but it just has to be done. So it's been one of those weekends, which is why I didn't go to the beach. Because midweek, I was like, I went to the beach. But this is good. Now, if you're not trying to watch your calories or anything, you could add like some olive oil when you first go to roast the spaghetti squash and that'll give it more flavor. But spaghetti squash is one of those things that kind of like tofu, it takes the flavor of whatever you mix with it. Which has me thinking, I wonder what a taco bowl would taste like with spaghetti squash. I didn't say I'm gonna do it, but I'm just curious what it would taste like. So tonight for dinner, I'll have the salmon and a salad, a bag of salad. And I don't know, sometimes I just gotta figure it out as I go. I don't like making meals midweek because I have to think about it and I don't like doing that. So I may just do like some beans and that's the protein. Beans and rice, beans and salad. But sometimes if I feel really lazy about meal prep, I'm not a lazy person, but sometimes I'm lazy when it comes to meal prep because I'd rather do something else. I'll just eat tuna. <laughs> you know, I gotta give myself credit because since I've cut sugar out, I don't have those crazy cravings anymore. Like food is slowly becoming like just a source of energy. And I like that. I like it. I like that I don't choose food as like my thing to like binge on all the time. Even, and it's so crazy because I think back and I was eating what I thought was healthy food and I was binging on it. Ma'am, I'm just spiking my blood sugar like pew, pew, pew. I'm not realizing it. But this is good. I'm going to finish, finish up with my lunch and get back to business. A lot of things need my attention right now. So if you guys like videos like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.
I feel like I have food in my teeth, but bye. <laughs>